Hi guys, Fire Plays here, and welcome, or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, we are doing the Western Bulldogs My Coach Career Mode. Alright, guys, this is very exciting. Um, so yeah, it's first game of the year, round one. Of course, it's always exciting. We've got the Pies, uh, Trelaw up against his former team. Um, it'll be interesting to see who he's matched up on now again. Stakes um, will be in this series. Fires votes won't be. Uh, I've decided to come to that conclusion. No fires votes will be in this series. It's easier for me. So yeah, no fires votes in this series. I might think about picking that up in season two for the second coach cream mode. But I think just leaving it at one coach cream mode for now. And because yes, yeah, no, it's not the easiest thing to make. Just so everyone knows that. <coughs> so yeah, no fires votes for this season. Uh, if you guys really want to see fires votes, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I can bring them in for round two. But yeah, no really later than round two is what I'd be thinking for Fires votes. Uh, today we've got the Magpies, a big round one game at the MCG. Um, so yeah, we've got a massive game, stakes again. That'll be in here uh, and everything like that. Uh, if you haven't gone to watch um, last game against, well, for the Western Bulldogs against the Melbourne Demons, go and watch that one right now. It was a pre-season, so it's not the biggest game, but it just shows where we're kind of at, at a level, skill level. Um... And yeah, it's always good to see how good we're, we're at with our plays and everything like that. So if you haven't gone and watched that one, and if you want to go and watch it, go and watch that one now. Um, but it's not really going to spoil anything. <coughs> All right. So yeah, I've given you guys a little bit of a chance to go and watch it. It's against the D's. Um, but yeah, we had a pretty good win in that one. They came back late in the last quarter to win. Uh, we didn't have the best first or last quarter. But yeah, we had a good second and third quarter, which is the main thing. Um, but yeah, that... That was that. Uh, Pre-season's all out of the way. Let's get right into things with a little bit of um, career history, first of all. So, of course, you'll see 100, 100 win percentage. I want to try and leave it at that for the whole year, but I don't think we will be able to. Um, stakes for today. So, again, yeah, it depends. Small win. Well, we're going to be looking 7, 8, 9. Big win, we can be looking top of the table. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Big win. We're gonna be looking at the top of the table. 78 to 67 was the game between Richmond and Carlton. Carlton getting over the top. So yep. Big or small win. So the small win. 789. Big win. Six or above. Um, and then, well, yeah, we can pretty much be looking like top four. Um, small loss. Again, we can be looking 11, 12. I mean 10, 11, 12. Uh, big loss. We can be looking 16, 17, 18. So, um. Again, it's a big, it's a very big game, very big start of the year for the Western Bulldogs. Uh, really got to do this well. Uh, so yeah, that stakes. Um, now into team selection, definitely one of my favourite parts. I will be making predictions as well. I like to do that. Uh, let's have a look at match objectives and season objectives to start things off. So, 29 torpedo kicks in the game. Not sure about that one. 46 possession. That should be pretty easy. Five smothers. Maybe. I'm not quite sure about that one. So, they're all reasonably hard, except the um, possessions. That should be easy. Uh, and it gives me the least XP too. Uh, season objectives. We have... Contested marks, nine out of 55 contested marks. Um, zero out of 486 kicks, and soccer goals, zero out of 17. Um, so we've got, we've got some, the soccer goals should be easy. 17 soccer goals, I think we should be able to get that one done. Again, soccer goals aren't the most accurate, but again, we'll be able to have a look. Team selection this week, so we're gonna go into the office, just gonna have a look at the inbox. Um, new debutant. Jamal Hugo Hagen made his debut last week. Um, I think, I, th I reckon he'll be able to play. I, I do think uh, he should be able to sponsor except still. Um, Melbourne, the performer, the standout performance in the victory of Stephen Martin, Tom Lubertor and Aaron Norton. Nice. Jamal didn't have the biggest day out, but he had a pretty, he, he had a good game, I reckon. Uh, opposition analysis for Collingwood. Collingwood have won zero games and Scott Penelbury is in red hot form. But a massive game. I think this is going to be... This is going to, again... Round one doesn't fate where your season is. It's once you start hitting round five and you're zero and five or five and zero, that's where it makes the interesting call. So team management today. This is massive. I have to make sure that I'm picking the right team to come and play the, um, the Collingwood. 
So we'll be able to have a look at the little um, matchups around the ground. Uh, so yeah, Wallace again, he's half-hearted. Bruce and English, of course, they'll be staying. Hunter, Norton, Dunkley, again, yes, they will be staying. Uh, Martin, Stefan Martin, Liberatore, Adam Trelaw, beautiful midfield, just like Collingwood. Uh, I don't really know if we match Collingwood's midfield as well as what we would think. Um, but yeah, and then we have McRae, Bonzapelli and Smith. That's where things get interesting. Do I play McRae in the middle on Pendlebury? I think. I think I'll leave it. I think I'll leave Liver on Pendlebury. That'll be a tough one for him. Uh, and then I have, yep, Smith, um, Johannesson, um, Williams and Dale. And then I also will finish things off with Caleb Daniel, Alex Keith, Easternwood, Cody Waitman, yeah. Again, question marks around him. Toby McLean, Mitch Cannon, and then we finish things off with Jamara Eugle Hagen. So, Cody Waitman, his spot's up for debate. Again, do I roll with it? Uh, let me know in the comments. Do I put injuries on as well? Um, Duray always a potential chance. Um, Lipinski, Ed Richards, Hayden Crozier, Vandermeer, McNeil. There's a there's a there's a ton of players. Shaki. Ling Jong, there's a lot of players that should that, that can get a chance. Um, Hannon, he was pretty good last week. McLean, I was happy with him. Waitman and Wallace are the two that I'm thinking about. I'm like, ooh, ooh, interesting. Um, and everything else is fine. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Just not sure about Waitman and Wallace. Wallace, I, I'll back Wallace in. Not sure about Waitman. I'll back him in for this game as well. All right. Now, talking about backing in, which team am I going to back in? Well, it's a very good question that you will ask. Oh, very evenly rated, 83 to 84. The team I'm going to be backing in today. So, it's the Pies versus the Western Bulldogs. The team that I think that will come out on top of this, my prediction is... The Western Bulldogs get things done by 16 points. So I will see you guys there for this Ebbing encounter, Collingwood versus the Western Bulldogs in round one. So I'll see you guys there for Collingwood versus the Western Bulldogs live from the Fireplace TV channel from the MCG. And don't forget my prediction is Collingwood by, I meant not Collingwood, Western Bulldogs by 16. See you guys there. Guys, so after, today's game is really big because then this goes, do I put, plays in the VFL like how well were some players going to play um so yeah uh Collingwood versus the Western Bulldogs looking beautiful at the MCG I think this might be the first time playing in the season pack at the MCG let's yeah let's get it on the way so Collingwood versus the Western Bulldogs live for the fireplace TV channel Adam straight away wants to get into things Alex Keith he's a nice big body to sit back there and well now I'm not quite sure about that though from the Marcus Bonson Pelly Keith oh couldn't get a hand on it and Scotty Pendlebury from the middle what about that that's how you open up your season and the pies have it there first well, they got taken to ground. Now, the pies through Adams can work out a goal. Brody Mycheck spins through. Trelaw, Grundy, turns, bends, goal. And then now, Bailey Dale, that is Josh Thomas. How's that? The pies have four. Doesn't happen. Keith. And then now, well, there's the goal, his first goal, I think. Yeah, that's his first. We're down by 35, 34 points. Collingwood 5 5, 35 plays a dog, 0 1 1. Uh, Easterwood, Bont, and Waitman, two touches each. Look at the pies. Seven touches for Grundy, six for House, six for Adams. Greenwood, Dugowie, Grundy, all with goals. We've got to get better than this. Caleb Daniel, our best with 19 fantasy. Look on the pies side. 33 for Grundy, 28 for Mytek, 27 for Elliot, 26 for Dugowie, 21 Adams, 21 Howe, 21 Finlay McRae, 21 Pendlebury. That's all better than our top scorer. Got to get this second quarter right. Let's get it underway. Line three from the MCG. It's the Dogs versus the Pies. Spot. And then now Dugowie. Goal. Pies by 40. Time. Now there, Tom Liberatore can run towards goal. And this time, get it. He gets our first of the season, Tom Liberatore. 
I didn't think it'd be this late though in the um in the second quarter. Even though it's like still quite early in the second quarter, but I didn't think it'd be like this late. Now we just really need to come out. Mitri Hannon, Joshy Bruce, and there's your goal. Spot though. And then now, my check, goal. But McLean almost won it in the end. Callum Brown tests his range and gets it. But they've made mistakes. There's one of our own mistakes. So Callum Brown makes sure of it. They get a goal. We are getting demolished. Now, we can send that one in. Mitri Hannon gets it. And finally. A little bit of luck. Now there, Mitchy Hannon. That is a goal. In the green. Perfect work. Mitch Hannon gets it. Down the middle. Now, Jordan Degoe. How? How does he do that? Jordan Degoe just waltzes through the middle. Gets a goal. It's a 47 point margin. Now there, Mason Cox almost grabbed it. Scotty Pendlebury did, and it's a goal. Big worries for the test. Jason Johannesson. Well, luckily enough, we can run. Easton Wood knows that he can run. He backs himself in. Nice job, Easton Wood. Now, he can just send this one in. Joshy Dunkley's there. Beautiful work. Josh Dunkley, the right footer. Will be good. That should be a goal, but I'm pretty sure he would have sprayed that. And it is a goal. Yeah, Collingwood 11 7 73. Plays Western Bulldogs 4 3 27. Uh, our best have been Libertore and Yugo Hagen, four touches. Yugo Hagen's been pretty good. Uh, Easton with three touches and then Liber, Dunkley, Bruce with a goal each. Let's have a look at Fantasy. Not going to be looking good. Yeah, Martin 34, 28 for uh, Libertore, 26 for English. We've got a massive second half that needs to come and it needs to come. We've never led this game, so got a big second half underway coming. Let's get the Dogs versus the Pies. Lime free on the Fireplace TV channel underway from the MCG. Now, straight away though, the, the Pies, they just know how to use their ball. Brody Meyer, check. That's easy to like to Elliot. Kick this and it'll be game. Kick this and it's game over. So, yeah, what's happening here? Elliot's gonna decide the fate of this game. Is it over? Sure is. Jamie Elliot gets the goal. He can just take that one out of the defense line. And Jason Johannesson, he is off. He can run to 50 pretty comfortably. Well, he can get a goal. Thank you, JJ. Now, it's just a hot football to be won right now. And it's won by the Pies, and it's a goal for Dacos. Over the top of Pendlebury. Went in the Waitman direction. Now there, Cody Waitman threw them all. How's that for a goal? What a finish. Oh, he's got this distance in him. And that's a very good kick. Beautiful from Norton, split the middle. Here come the Western Bulldogs, it's a 40 point margin. To Bailey Smith, who couldn't quite finish the job. Hugo Hagen, he's good himself. Beautiful work from the Western Bulldogs. Right on three quarter time, you'd be thinking. Sneaks that one home. They'll have time, it's a 39 point margin. I think this game's pretty much over. Um, but yeah, five touches for Trulaw, Dunkley, Waitman, Johannes and Libertore and Dunkley with the one goal each. On the Pies side of things, How My check 15 touches, Adams 13 touches, Degoe and Brown three goals, Pendlebury two goals. Got a massive comeback. Last quarter underway, Pies v Dogs, line through from the MCG, line through from the Fireplays TV channel. This pretty much sealed this. And yep, there you go, game over. Josh Thomas gets it. That's the game. Get that one. Now they're Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Goal. Alan Brown gets it, so just wants to try and get it forward. Now they're Liberatore, just hacks it there. Jamara, it's for Jamara. It's all for Jamara. Jamara can pick that one up, can have a little kick of goal. That's what we wanted. That's what we want from Jamara Hagen. Can he make, can he re-get that goal? He can, lovely. Now now, that is terrible. Bailey Smith can make them pay. He can make the Magpies pay. With a class act like that, that just puts a little bit of good goodness on our day. Let's have a look at this one. As it sails through the big sticks from Cox, he's been very quiet, which I've been very happy with his opponent today. 
which I think was Bailey Williams. So full credit to Bailey Williams for, for playing such a such a shut down role. Grundy through the middle now, and it's full time. So yeah, another terrible game. Well, well, well. 17-8, 110 Collingwood plays 12-10, 82 for the Western Bulldogs. So look, we came, we kept them quiet. It was just our first quarter that really let us down. They smashed us anyway. Not a very good end for us uh, in the end though. I uh, don't think we deserved the game at all. Dunkley nine touches, eight for Trelaw, seven for, I mean eight for Libertore, seven for Trelaw. Dunkley, Bruce, Eaglehagen, two goals each. Eaglehagen, brilliant game. Loved him. I love having him in the team, but yeah. Dunkley, 64, Fantasy. 56 for Stephen Martin, 55 for Bruce, 50 for Tim English. There's gonna be a couple of sacrifices coming. In fact, a lot of this team could be dropped next week for, um, yeah, this, and we might just have to try out a new team that can play better than this, because yeah, half time, look at that. 73 to 27. That's not what we wanted, so yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to take play of the match. None of our players would have been on there anyway. It was just all pies anyway. They all had brilliant games, but yeah. A loss, that's okay. Doesn't really matter. These seasons are just fun anyway, so yeah. I think bottom of the ladder for us now is probably a good idea. Uh, it's probably gonna happen. We are in 17th, so we've got Frio below us. We've got the Eagles who are in 16th next week. That's gonna be a real big challenge. But yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do for tipping next week. Uh, so yeah, pretty predictable, I think. I think a lot of people will think what I'm thinking right now, so yep. But yep, yeah, find out to me next week who I'm actually gonna tip. Uh, whether I feel like we'll bounce back or whether I feel like we'll just, yeah, not do well at all. So. We had Melbourne defeat Frio, which was, yeah, pretty predictable, I think. Uh, I think everyone saw that one coming in Evo 2. Uh, Adelaide defeat Geelong. Hawthorne defeat Essendon. Sydney defeat Brisbane. Port defeat North. Giants defeat St Kilda. And the Suns beat West Coast, which is very surprising. Uh, see it got ladder there. So with stakes, uh, yeah, we had a big loss. So I said we were looking at 16, 17, 18. And boom, well, we have it. Nice job. Um, so, yep, now have a look at stat leaders because none of our players would be on there at all for Coleman because someone would have scored six or seven goals this round. Jonathan Segler, seven. Callum Brown, set. oh, well, keeping in mind, this wasn't actually from the um, from one game. This was from different games. But, yeah, none of our players are on there as I expected. Uh, we're not very good at the moment. We need a boost, a real big boost. Eagle Hagen, Dunkley, Bruce, two goals. You guys can let me know some changes if you'd like in the comments. 50% uh, win percentage now, that has gone down a whole 50%. Let's have a look at the round fixture. Pies over the Blues. Uh, and we had the Cats by one point winners over the Lions. Which did happen in real life. Um, Swans over Crows pretty convincingly. Uh, Essendon over Port. D's over Saints. Ruse over the Suns by a point. And then Hawthorne over the Tigers. Our big game up against West Coast. And then Frio at GWS later the same day. So it's they're, they're both really big games. But the two end games of the round are both really big games uh, for both clubs. We've got 16th and 17th, which will be a good matchup. And then we have 5th versus 18th as well. Um, so let's have a look at our next couple of rounds that we have. Um, so we have the Eagles, the Kangaroos, and then the Lions. So we've got some tough games coming up. Um, now let's just finish this off with a little bit of um, office. Have a look at our inbox. Um, a for match review, the unformed players with Bailey Dale, Bailey Williams, and Mitch Wallace. Uh, yeah, Mitch Wallace, spot up for grabs. Uh, West Coast have won zero games, and Jeremy McGovern is in red hot form. So we have to bring a better forward line next week. That's just what that's telling me. Our inefficiency to score is what's troubling us at the moment. Yeah, we have to do better than that. So I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. Uh, that is going to be it for me now, guys. So bye, guys. Fire plays out.